As a former commander at the Center of Excellence at Fort Rucker, uh, I can't overstate the benefit of a common fleet, common technology, the commonality between components, between cockpits, between nomenclature, between simulators would simplify the training process significantly. You only have to train an aviator one time on an X-2 airplane. So we know it's just as important to deliver an amazing helicopter as it is to deliver a training system that teaches people to use that helicopter. And because we're tied in from the beginning, we're doing things in a way that is going to bring more capability to the training system than ever before. We've really focused on building an underlying architecture that is the same in our development environments and the same that will be in our training devices. That enables us to ensure that when a software update is completed, not only does it go directly into the airplane, it goes directly into that training device. One of the great things that we're doing on the training specifically is taking that digital thread and really pulling it through the system. So starting at system design through manufacturing and pulling it into the training systems such that the warfighters have the most realistic training solution so that they are ready to train as they fight.